Welcome back to the Campfire Series, brought to you by North Dakota State Parks and Recreation. Today we have Melissa and Ashley from the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center, Fort Mandan, and we're going to be talking about the traditions, influences, and cultural heritage of our native tribes here in North Dakota. Hello, I'm Melissa and I'm Ashley and we are historical park interpreters with North Dakota's Parks and Recreation, Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center and Fort Mandan. This weekend we will be exploring the diverse cultural heritage and discussing the many tribes that are located in our region. North Dakota history is woven on the rich agriculture that the Mandan and Hidatsa introduced to early Europeans and the intricate hunting practices of the Sioux and Northern Plains tribes. From planting the three sister crops to following the bison herds, the tribes of North Dakota are an important part of the history of the region and we ask you to celebrate this rich heritage with us for this weekend's Campfire Series on American Indians. The Mandan Hidatsa and Arikara Nations are three of the tribes that are commonly associated with agriculture in North Dakota. Traditionally, these tribes farmed corn, beans, and squash, known as the three sister crops, as well as sunflowers. They resided along the banks of the Missouri River where the soil was fertile and their crops prosperous. While their main source of food was harvested, these tribes did hunt bison as well. The dwellings in which they built and lived in are called earth lodges. While the two of the three nations were considered sedentary, the Arikara did not band together with the Mandan and Hidatsa until 1862 in Lake a Fishhook village and have been together ever since, known now as the Three Affiliated Tribes. Tribes roamed the northern plains following the bison herds as they migrated through the rolling hills and deep drops of the Badlands that helped make up North Dakota's landscape. These nomadic tribes who survived and thrived off of harvesting bison and lived in temporary transportable structures called teepees are the Yangtonia, Sisseton, Wapiton, Oye, Dakota, Lakota, and Nakota, or more commonly known as the Sioux. As well as being considered nomadic, the Lakota and Dakota nations were heavily influenced by the Northern Plains horse culture, but they did also fish and farm along the rivers when they traveled. The Chippewa, Cree, and Métis are bands of tribes that were actively involved in the early years of the fur trade beginning in the far reaches of the Great Lakes region of current day Minnesota. Another name for the Chippewa is Ojibwe, which is what the tribe used to be called before European contact and the band of Ojibwe that migrated to current day North Dakota were the Pemina Chippewa. The band settled in what is known today as the Turtle Mountain area. The Chippewa, Cree, and Métis were considered semi-nomadic since their dwellings were in birch bark wigwams when in the woodlands, but did borrow customs from some of the Northern Plains tribes like teepees when traveling on the plains and prairie. While not all the customs or languages between the tribes are the same, they did have many things in common, and one of them was their love for recreation. It was an opportunity to build skill and learn about life and the consequences that could come with not working as a unit. There are many recreational games and activities of chance and skill that help teach a valuable life lesson while bringing fun and joy in the spirit of competition. Some of these games were lacrosse, stick and ball, or also known as double ball, hoop and dart, ice gliders, field hockey, and chung ki. The Mandan, Hidatsa, Arikara, Yangtonia, Sisseton, Wapiton, Oyate, Dakota, Lakota, Nakota, Chippewa, Cree, and Métis nations that call North Dakota their home are all still very much active and alive today. Be it farming, hunting, fishing, or sports and games, we all still carry on a heritage of tradition. We celebrate culture and share in their relationship with nature. 
So whether you're just traveling through or live in the state, we encourage you to learn more about the proud and vibrant history of the tribes that make up North Dakota. Thanks for watching this week's Campfire Series on American Indians. Bye! Hey, thanks for joining us. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch the Campfire Series all summer long, brought to you from North Dakota State Parks and Recreation. See you next time.